For my command staff over have over 500 years of public safety experience, how many do you have? How many doors have you kicked down? How many lives have you saved? How many times have you had to extract somebody from a burdened building or put your on the line when someone's getting shot at? There you see it. Things get heated between Broward mm -hmm. Sheriff Gregory Tony and a Broward County Commissioner as they discuss concerns with the 911 call centers. Yeah, but despite the fiery back and forth, a new plan may soon help BSO with its issues. CBS 4's Keith Jones is live in Fort Lauderdale to explain. Keith. Yeah, it took that amped up exchange for Sheriff Gregory Tony to make his point. His point was indeed received. At issue here is the Broward County 911 Center is just severely understaffed. It's down 86 operators, which Sheriff Tony says puts the safety of the community at risk. Now, to make the point here, a month ago, a fire destroyed a 75-year-old woman's home in Hollywood. No 911 dispatcher ever answered that call, and that forced neighbors to drive to the nearest firehouse and literally knock on the door for help. Now, the sheriff, he argued this is a staffing and a budget issue, but Commissioner Mark Bogue and he challenged the sheriff's management of the center, and that ignited another heated exchange. How many people do you need to tell you that you have problems with your management? You could sit there and say you like your management, like it, like it, like it, like it, and you could tell me you're, you think they're the best. But how many of All your right, Commissioner, you gave me 15 made? questions. Do you want me to start answering them no, now? No, I'm going to listen to what I'm done, okay. and then you're going to be respectful. All right, so the sheriff also brought some figures with him comparing to Palm Beach County. He says an entry-level Broward County 911 operator makes 15000 less than the same operator in Palm Beach County. Now, you go to the end of a career for Broward 911 operators, and they're making 20000 less than the same operator in Palm Beach County. He just wants it to be competitive here, and it looks like he's going to get that because the commission agreed to a $4.7 million stop gap that's going to go towards raises, retention, and recruitment. That's going to be voted on here in the next couple of weeks, and the mayor says he is confident it will indeed pass. That's the latest here in Fort Lauderdale. Keith Jones, CBS4 This Morning.